Embrack TV. I've been in my bag getting bread if you don't know. Came up on the app getting money you don't know. Say they feel my pain, but I feel like they don't do. Oh no, oh no. Rolling up the weed in the morning, fresh blood dough. Money over bitches going places you won't go. You talking crazy, but they ain't got guns though. We got guns, yo. You stack ones, yo. Like yo, you know what? Joe don't wanna do it. Let's do the three man, you feel me? Joel was on the phone with me and Royce. Royce's exact words was, don't put that in the universe, crook. He's going to rap. I said, he's not going to rap, and he said he don't want to do the deal. He said no right there with me and Joel on the phone. I'm not lying. He said, now, he might have been opposed to it because, you know what I'm saying? He might feel like, yo, Slaughterhouse is not a brand without Joe Button. What up with it? Can y'all hear me? I got these headphones on. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, I saw a piece of that over there. You feel me? And I don't lie. Yeah, I brought a deal to the table. It was ownership involved with the deal. Let me just put it that way. You know what I mean? It was definitely ownership involved with the deal. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not finna try to get my, my brothers, my, my, you know, my folks to sign something that's gonna fuck their life off. You know what I mean? So it was definitely ownership in the deal. You feel me? Because I'm a business owner. So of course I'm gonna have an ownership. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. And, uh, you know, Joe, 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 stop playing, Joe. Just stop, my brother. It's not no problem. It's not no beef. Just stop playing, bro. You know what I'm saying? You didn't hit me back. You said it on your live. You said you didn't hit me back because I'm always bringing some deal. Some deal. I'm always... Yeah, I did. I try to create checks for my family, dog. That's what I do. If I'm in a circle and we a crew, I'm going to create checks. That's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? So, all that, what that, what that is, I don't even know what that is. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, it's definitely what's... A, can we put this? Can we put this in there? My bad, bro. Yeah, so it definitely was. You know what I mean? And I always tried to create checks. I don't care if it's somebody wanted a feature, somebody wanted anything. I make sure, you know, yo, here you go. We're going to get it. I got Joe. I got Royce. I got Joe. That's just who I am, dog. You know what I mean? That's who I am, man. That's When you say brother's keeper, I am the definition of brother's keeper. You feel me? So when I hit them with the deal and I, I let y'all see on Twitter, I'm like, yo, they got a certain amount of time to get at me. And once they, and once they, you know, get at me and all that kind of stuff, we could go over whatever. I told Royce, I said, Royce, we not going to go back and forth with Joe. And let, let's be clear. Everybody know I love Royce. I said, we not going to go back and forth with Joe. Tell Joe to call me. Joe, tell me whatever he want in the paperwork and he can have it. Whatever. Because he, he shitted on it the first time. And he called Joel instead of calling me. And he said, I ain't want to be the one to tell Crook that I'm not doing this deal. You know what I mean? And he was supposed to call me. He told Joe, I'm going to call Crook in an hour. He never called me in an hour, a day, a week, a month. Never. You feel me? So, anyway, I'm going to make this short because I'm out here and... In Florida right now but uh yeah it was just one of them things thank you my guy I appreciate you uh, it was just one of them things you know what I mean where it's like it's like yo I'm trying to bring the fans the music the fans been wanting slaughterhouse for a long time I'm trying to bring the fans the music you know what I mean I'm doing my best for years and years and years. And I'm supposed to just wait. I love Royce to death. But when he said he wouldn't do it without Joe, I couldn't do nothing. I was stung. I was hurt. I can't let, I, I can't just sit back and, and, and be, you know, he chose Joe again. That's what it was. I'm sorry. That's what happened. You feel me? So. 
my whole thing was when we had the three man opportunity, I went back to the label because Joe didn't want to do it. So here's the funny part. Why am I going back to the major distribution company, which would have been ownership, joint venture involved and all that? Why am I going back to them with a three man, you know, like, yo, you know what? Joe don't want to do it. Let's do the three man. You feel me? And I'm like, yo, all right, cool. They gave me, you know, what they would do for the three man. I said, all right, that's dope. I took that back. Joel was on the phone with me and Royce. Royce's exact words was, don't put that in the universe, crook. He's going to rap. I said, he's not going to rap, and he said he don't want to do the deal. I said, I'm not trying to put it in the universe, but I'm just asking you, brother to brother, if he does not want to do it, will you do the three-man group? He said no right there with me and Joel on the phone. I'm not lying. He said, now, he might have been opposed to it because, you know what I'm saying, he might feel like, yo, Slaughterhouse is not a brand without Joe Button. And that's fine. That's cool. He might feel like, yo, you know what? It got to be all four members to be Slaughterhouse. It might not just be a thing where he's choosing Joe. It could be like, yo, I, even if it was Joel, whoever is missing, it's not Slaughterhouse without all four. So I say, okay, that's cool. But right now, it's been sitting around. Our last album dropped in 2012. It's 2022. It's been 10 years. The fans been asking for this stuff for a long time. Let's give them some closure. Let's give them a couple. Jo it's nothing, man. This is what we do. We, we make music. But Joe, he wanted me to wait on Joe again. And that's what hurt me. That's what hurt me. He wanted me to wait on Joe again. You know how long we've been waiting on Joe? I've been on phone calls waiting on Joe years ago. And now it gets to the point where Joe don't even have the decency to call me back because he think he got a bag. He think he got a bag, so he don't got to call me back. And that just lets you know that money turns you into a person. It don't change you. It just shows, it just shows you who you are to the extreme. So he didn't want to call me back. Joe wanted the business right. You can't get the business right without communication. Communication is the rule number one in the business. If you want the business right, you got to come to me. I'm the one who got the business on the table. And that was the problem. He didn't want to come to me. You see what I'm saying? He didn't want to call me. He didn't want to say, what's up? What's happening, crook? Because he know that he been on some shady-ish with me for a long time. But that's a... Rule number one in business, y'all know, is communication. So how you going to get the business right if you ain't even communicating? That's impossible. And then he say he bigger than everybody. Look, man, it's people in the Ukraine right now that's going through it. It's people overseas in Somalia, it's all kind of third world country people that's going. You said, oh, that deal might be big to them. It's the biggest deal Slaughterhouse would have ever got. It's the biggest deal Slaughterhouse would have ever gotten. You said you're going to finance it? Dude, you think I'll trust you to finance an album when you won't even call me back? What am I supposed to do? Jump on... You think I'm going to trust you to finance an album, you, and you won't even call back when we got business on the table after everything I've done for you? Yo, dude, you wanted to make more money than us on stage because you was on Love and Hip Hop. So what you going to want to make if you financing the whole thing? Man, come on, man. We all too old for this. We businessmen. You stack words, yo. The powers that be enforce the mandate. Every day I wake up, it's switching up the landscape. The media mixing lies with the truth. Somewhat COVID, death toll stats is all trumped up. The facts uncovering, got a nigga wondering. M Rack TV. TV.